Hello everybody, I'm Conquering History Games and welcome back to part 19 of my Kingdom of France campaign here in Hearts of Iron 4 Moe Reich. Uh, so we're, we've got Henri the Sixth in charge here and uh, hmm, kind of feels like this is moving slow again. Oh gosh. Whoa, what just happened? What? Is this because Italy capitulated or did somebody else lower the legitimacy? Uh, could somebody in the chat explain to me what just happened, please? Okay, we have to. Here we go. Anyway, so we're taking all this. Thank you very much. Uh, oh. And now I've got to take it again? I think? Oh, oh no, this is the... Oh! It... Was it a weird thing that got triggered because the Princely Federation War ended? Huh. Okay. Very strange. Well, let's uh, give this stuff to them. Like I said, I'm not going to take any of... Uh... I'm not going to take anything from the Dominion. This is their clay. But then it wants me to take stuff from the Commune of France again? Okay, very strange. You know, Kaiserreich did just update, I think, so hopefully this isn't what is causing it the problem. Uh, but there it is! Nice! Kingdom of France! We're back, baby! So, if we come over here, or, um, what? Do I have to maybe wait till midnight? Don't I have some new decisions to make in regards to, like, resistance to occupation? Yeah, because look at that, it's everywhere. People are having problems with me being here. So, like, let's, I guess let's wait till midnight. Okay, decisions. Uh, I really don't know what the fuck is going on. <laughs> uh, whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's get back to, let's get back up here. Okay, so are we in position? Yes. Yeah, push right here. And uh, we got to link up with... Come on, we got to link up with the Portuguese. <gasps> Did they lose their port? No, 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 they still got... Stav uh, not Stavanger. Vestlandit tier. Oh, and then uh, my forces that I sent here are starting to arrive. That's good. And uh, they've got some serious supply issues. So I need them to just go on the effect. Okay, what the fuck? Go on the offensive. There we go. Just to just get pushing out, pushing out. Attack on a patrol in Niger. So what else is new? Fate of the Romandi. Um, I might just eat it. Yeah, I'm just gonna eat it. Assimilate it into the French territory. Gosh, that's expensive. Well, it's mine now. Too damn bad. Even though they're national populists like us, you should have picked a side, losers. Uh, but now we're getting all the uh, resistance issues in the world. Um, and then once again, why is it doing this shit? I'm supposed to be using the camels. Okay. So I got a bunch of factories. Are these cord? No, they're not cord. These are occupied states. Uh, but I did at least get some extra stuff here. Okay, let's put an extra one into fighters. Uh, do something here. I'm just going to kind of try to... Everything that I'm hitting my production efficiency cap, I want to try to get above that or you know get working on some fresh of it uh what else have we got here am i not building any artillery no i am okay there we go okay yep building sabotage freaking everywhere i guess let's erode the italian legitimacy it won't hurt right um Okay, how's it going up here? Come on, link up, link up, y'all, link up. Good, 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 good. There we have it, there we have it. Okay, good. So uh, now we're going to try to get moving towards Stockholm because these are, you know, it's, it's forest. It's not great, but it's better than uh, these mountains as far as attacking through them goes. Okay, you need to get up here. Getting some lend lease cancelled on us. Mm. Rather annoying.
But really, what the hell is going on here? Um, I do not understand. Defending against subversive attacks. No, you need to be coming over here or something. Hope we can build more of an intel network. Um, actually, I probably should have everybody trying to resist. There we go. Socialist Republic of Italy has fallen. You know what? I want to get... I got a lot of other projects and things that I want to get working on, so we're just going to go ahead and give this all to Sardinia. Wait. Kingdom of France? Oh, yeah, that's gift score. Yeah. There we go. Uh, except I'm not allowed to do that. Okay. Need a little more. There we go. Uh, there's all. That's all that's left of Serbia. That one tile. <laughs> that is one thick fucking Greater Austria. <laughs> yeah, it's true. We have to attack over the river, unfortunately, and this looks like it might be the best bet. Rise in resistance. Okay, so like, am I gonna get? There it is. Yeah, I was like, aren't we supposed to get a new tree? Yeah, France Indivisible, uh, which is gonna give you like lingering influence. I'm gonna have to do all this crap. Okay, so what we'll do first is uh, let's finish up this long range fighter. I just want to finish it up because I was already in there. But now it's gonna then, it's, then we'll do the Algiers conference, and then uh, we got to start doing all of this. <laughs> Uh, a lot of this I actually can't do until I'm at peace. I can't do the central section. Uh-huh. Yeah. We'll figure it out. Demand return of Asas Lorraine. Definitely want that eventually. Okay. Very good. Let's just keep saving up this political power for now. The Algerian bomber is a, a fighter. He's a new sensation in French boxing. 22 years old. He's not known to feat. He's now at a 40 win streak. Um, he hates hurting others. He prefers football over boxing. He's tenacious and quick. An incredible position. He has immense potential. His fragile hands. It's earned him his other nickname, the man with clay hands. <coughs> and yet he's 40 and 0. Um, the whole nation will follow with great interest his career from now on. Allez, mon sir! On y va! Okay, can we get over this damn river or what? I'm having some trouble advancing here. This isn't happening. Nope, 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 nope. Just hold. Stop it. It's not, it's not working. Quit it. Fine, I guess we are advancing into the mountains up here. Fuck me. Um, so let's do this Algiers conference thing. With our return to the Metropole, it is time to call together a gathering of senior officials from our colonial government to decide upon how we will govern them from the future. Uh, cover them in the future. We will assemble native elites, administrators, representatives from the economic forces, and missionaries to hash out a better colonial policy as the exile ends. Hopefully it'll, that'll help with the resistance we're dealing with down there. I probably should just start moving everybody up here in terms of dealing with the resistance issue, but... Let's see here. Oh, yeah, because it's getting bad everywhere. Oh, jeez. Bad, 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 bad. Manpower or equipment. Me. Um, we need... Oh, these task forces are pretty good, but I think we need to... No, military police, it's too early. Fuck, I guess we'll do this then. serious problem I got tons of extra uh, armored cars I haven't been using so let's here we go light armored recon unit wait I thought that I had uh oh this was it was because there was that five minutes where like the recording got fucked up and I had to restart but that was when I did this there's your problem. This whole time I thought I'd been using the camel companies and I already switched them up a long time ago, but I hadn't. If 
Fuck me. Okay, so I need to... I was making these 40 widths, basically. Not that I have the equipment for all this anyway, but... Fuck me. Ugh. There. <sighs> okay. India, are you starting your... Yeah, yeah, cool. They can start Unify India without doing the other stuff, technically. Good. Good, good, good. So now India is going to become our huge gorilla ready to just freaking kill everybody with their insane manpower once they start uh, coring proper. Okay, attack here. Yeah, the Union of Britain is really committed here to Scandinavia. Hopefully that means that uh, they're not paying attention to uh, their home. But, no, they've got an absurd amount of divisions to call upon. They're going to be fine. go come on keep pushing up keep pushing up got a really good base here sweden's pushing in which is uh germany unfortunately but that's how it is once we do this we got trials of the commune this allows us to rebuild our legitimacy this could lower resistance oh good we'll eventually get that free repair which we're sure as shit gonna need because uh, everything's on fire in the Metropole right now. Damn, here I was saying I didn't want to go too deep into Norway, but look at me go now. <laughs> you, gotta, you gotta adapt to changing circumstances. Nationalist leaflets in Tunis. So what else is new? Yeah, if we get to Trondheim, uh, they're not going to have any ports, which will be awesome. So all these will starve. Okay, already we have to uh, change this. Oh no, they do have a base here. Never mind. But, or do they? Yeah, they do. They do here in Bergen. Um... And it doesn't look like we're going to easily be able to get there. Still, it's good to, you know, get cutoffs uh, to, to, you know, lessen it. Wait, what's happening here? Another, there's my annual free five uh, political points. Political power points. Hmm. Get a little more fuel from refineries. Refineries just plain ain't giving me much, though. Uh. How's the industry going? Good as it can be. Hmm. Might be time to finally start improving some of my artillery stuff so I can get the ahead of time, take advantage of that ahead of time bonus later. Or actually, I might just never take it at all now. Very good, very good. Actually, come up here, kill this division, and keep heading north. That's good, that's good. Agent of ours has been captured. I think we're going to switch to the export focus. Just, uh, I need to get some of these resources back. Yeah, there we go. Now I can get some factories. Good. Good, good, good. Go. 
Boom! Okay, they got a medium tank division here, but it's in 40% attrition. So, it's not going to do much against me. Oh, is that a... No, no, no. Okay, no naval invasions yet. Oh, here's one. North of Liverpool. That's going to fail miserably. Uh, they tried to attack on either side of Liverpool and then attack it, uh, you know, so that they could get supplies in. Nope, nope, nope. Ain't happening. All right, we got Indian troops up here now. Because uh, now they're not having to deal with uh, unifying the subcontinent. All right, it's time for the Algiers Conference. Officials from all across our colonies meet together in Algiers to discuss how we shall govern the colonies under our control with the recent reconquest of the metropole from the syndicalists. We are finally back on our home turf. Now we must decide what to do with the colonies that supported us during our exile following our defeat in the First Velt Creed. Our policymakers have come to a brief conclusion. The time has come. To ease the yoke off the back of the native population, we must take immediate measures to give power back over to the native chiefs and local powers. As they rebuild the societies we have torn apart in our past, we shall continue to provide protection against any exterior threats until such a time as they are ready to defend themselves. Enact wide sweeping autonomy across the country. That's going to get rid of the colonial resistance modifier. We're just getting a lot. Of, we're going to get a lot of good stuff. Um, cool. Now, finally, France Indivisible. Since the revolution, France has been divided by ideology, but no more. We have won this struggle through sheer force of will. It will take time and effort to stabilize the nation and return to our rightful place on the world stage, but nothing is impossible for the United French people. So this will get rid of the anti-communard national spirit. Which one is that? Uh, so that that's decreasing the war support, and it's going to get switched over to where daily totalist, syndicalist, and radical support is going to go up because their influence. But it's okay. I think uh, each of these is like a month. Yeah, we'll, we need to start rebuilding legitimacy. This is going to be fun, though. I like this kind of stuff. You know, we have to core things, and it takes work. The Call of Silence, a drama by Leon Pioyer. The movie retelling the life of Blessed Charles de Foucault has found critical acclaim and great commercial success. Indeed, he has fascinated the French public for years now. Charles Eugene, Viscount de Foucault, would have seemed for much of his early life an unlikely candidate for the devotion now surrounding him. Born into an aristocratic family, he lived a dissolute life, eventually becoming a cavalry officer. This experience spurred him to leave his old life behind. He decided to take the vows, attracted by an ascetic life of poverty among the Tuargs with whom he formed deep bonds, learning their language, translating the scriptures, and preaching through example. Seen as a saintly man by natives, authorities in the church's hierarchy, a tragic end awaited him. Caught in the conflict with the Sensui Senussi, he was martyred on the 1st of December, uh, December 1916. Desert hermit, saintly martyr, pioneer of French influence, and the most remote corners of the empire, Father Charles became a national icon, his total abandonment to God and asceticism inspiring many Catholics, leading some to rethink their positions on native populations and Islam as a whole. His recent beatification has even led the Academy of Colonial Sciences to petition the papacy so that he be made patron saint of colonization. The regime, however, hasn't waited for him to be officially recognized as such and prominently uses him as a propaganda piece, despite de Foucault's frequent criticism of colonial attitudes. Father, I surrender to you. A saint, for sure. And thanks for the political power. Okay, cool. So we can finally do a machine-assisted decryption. That's cool. Um... This resistance is gonna get so fucking ugly. Yeah, it's getting real ugly real fast. You know, it's time to yeah, pull up we need to pull out of uh down here in in um in Africa in, in the, the African areas. So Yeah, even though we're focusing on Paris, uh it's not actually doing much. What to Yeah, we got Alan Dulles here. I keep forgetting that, that's really funny. Oh, yeah, one of our operatives was taken. <sighs> Sorry, I got other things to worry about. Oh, shit! Uh, I wasn't paying attention. One of my medium tank divisions got totally surrounded out here. Fuck. Well, I guess I could just make another one. Actually, I need to be changing these over, uh, the Merida division, because they're still, uh, they still use light tanks, so.
so I'll actually just fix this now. That was really fucking stupid. Or that? Oh wait, no, no. Actually, I think he's okay because now we're getting access through Sweden or something. Or what do I have to say? Ask for military access. And I think technically I can now get supply through there. Uh, so it's a little better. Nice little encirclement here. What the fuck is Canada doing? I guess they're. It's still this Venezuela thing they gotta worry about. But the sooner they attack the Union of Britain, the better. But the way I see it, I wanna just get this done in like a year. I think December 41 is not an unreasonable long-term goal, especially considering all the different things that we're, we're struggling with. Like, the, you know, the Entente kinda has it the hardest of all the factions. So in a year, we could do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, eight. Yeah, we don't even need the full year to be done with all of this and start working on the other stuff. We'll be okay. In the end. Come up this way. Oh shit, got... Surrounded again, my other tank division. And all that. These are connected, right? Oh gosh, I guess we're gonna find out, aren't we? Yeah, like just come come down through here into uh, the Swedish territory. Can it work that way? Oh, did I just bypass something automatically? Is that something like the Kings made France or whatever? Oh, the Kings are free. Yeah, what is this? Uh, stability, political power. So, France was born in 508 with the baptism of Clovis, King of the Franks. Since then, his descendants have reigned upon France and led her countless times to glory. France was built by the tireless effort of her kings. And without them, she was nothing. Orphaned, she erred and fell. But the tragedy is over, long live the king. So we have a national spirit returning monarch, which increases our consumer good factories and stability. Well, that just fucking sucks, doesn't it? So that if we do all this, uh, we'll, it'll replace a bunch of stuff. This is all like... This is all... Fucking... Ability things. I just... Although I think once we're done with that, uh, if we do it right, I just got a bunch of factories back. Um, we'll have zero consumer good factories, or we'll have 1% consumer good factories once we get rid of returning monarch. Okay. For many of our people, we are still enemies and occupying force. Two decades of communard propaganda does not go away in a few weeks. We have reconquered most of France. We still need to reconquer the hearts and minds of her people. A bit more resource gain efficiency. That's nice. There we go. That close that. Let's trade with, uh, who works with us? The Dominion. There we go. How is that Dominion doing? Almost done with Unify India. Yeah, that's gonna give 150 political power right out of the gate. That India United uh, modifier is real sweet as well. What an ugly fight up here in Scandinavia, though. No other way to put it. It's just ugly, ugly, ugly. U G L Y. This war ain't got no alibi. It's ugly. I actually think I'm going to back off, just kind of get out of this, or maybe switch my focus, maybe bring bring most of my army right here. Um. Les Tricolores! 
With the commune defeated and the king once again reigning over France, it is now time to ensure that the regime takes root, ensuring stability and renewed greatness for generations to come. We are, of course, already working uh, hard to conquer the hearts and minds of our people and to help them see that all the hardships that had befallen the motherland for so long were the product of Republican mediocrity and inferior... In Interior, excuse me, interior enemies. But to truly reform France, we must promote national symptom... Uh, symptom... Ah, God, I'm all tongue-twisted. National symbols fit for the reborn kingdom. Marianne, the denuded wench, has already been done away with, and the fate of the Mosse is controversial. But another subject is debated among the royalists, that of the flag. The idea of going back to the white and gold fleur de lis of the ancient regime has long been abandoned by the action Francais, though it remains the royal standard. And the blue, white, and red flag is now accepted even among committed royalists. Well, yeah, the white represents the Bourbons. Um, but if the colors are uncontroversial, the presence of the royal arms on the flag is not. Adopted in exile, mostly out of practicality, many expect our current ensign to be replaced by a plain tricolor, once and for all co-opting this symbol for the monarchist cause. However, a minority argue that we should, on the contrary, adopt the permanently the royal tricolor, that too many Frenchmen died for this flag. What should the king decide? Uh, we can keep the flag and it'll hurt stability. Uh, the tricolor is a little, the regular tricolor is more aesthetically pleasing. And if we already have the bourbon royal standards with the fleur de lis, um, I don't care about the stability here. My stability has been low the whole game. You just kind of get used to it. But, you know what? We're going to restore the tricolor. The white in it stands for bourbons. It's just redundant to have the royal standard on there. We're, we're co-opting it. We're making it ours. We are legitimate France, so we have this. Yeah, there we go. Can't wait to hear the bitching and moaning in the comments. Um... What are we gonna do here? What are we gonna do? A little more rubber from our refinery. How many refineries do we have? I think it's only the one, but um I don't know, what could we work on? What could we work on? You know what? We gotta queue up some close air support. We're gonna need that for down the line in the war with Germany. Okay, and my tanks are just scattered to the winds at the moment. Uh Let's bring them over like here ish. We can't wait until we can uh, successfully get a lot of um, lots of uh, anti tank into the uh, the the divisions. Anti air, that is. Um, oh, what's this? Another another invasion? Yeah, this is not happening, Canada. I think you're kind of forcing it. Victory of the Dominion! Since the end of the Weltkrieg, the Indian subcontinent has been split into three sides. The loyalist remnants of the British Raj, the socialists of the Indian National Congress, and the reactionary Indian princes who rejected both sides. With the dust having finally settled, the loyalists have proven triumphant, and the Dominion of India is now now rules unopposed over the region, region setting itself up to become a preeminent world power once it recovers from the devastation of its civil wars. The Raj added again. Yeah. Very, very nice. Uh, cool. Mm -hmm. Hopefully they got rid of that bug. Like this was a bug like a couple years ago, but I haven't played an India game in a long time. But where there was one state that wouldn't core, so you were never able to get to a new India arises. Um, anyway, the return of the prince. Return of the prince. Decades ago, the house of Grimaldi. Oh, nice! This is in Italy. Decades ago, the house of Grimaldi went into exile as invading communard militia closed in on the tiny principality of Monaco, symbol in their eyes of the ultim of ultimate bourgeois degeneracy. Since then, the prince soldier Louis II has never lost his hope to restore the independence of Monaco and tirelessly lobbied the French government to include the restoration of the principality in any future war aims. To prove the princely commitment to their longtime allies and protectors, the heir to the principality, Rainier, even followed in the footsteps of his father, enjoyed the French army in the later stages of the war, serving with distinction. With Monaco freed from the grasp of the communards, their loyalty has of course been rewarded, and Louis II has officially proclaimed the restoration of the independence of the principality from the balcony of the prince's palace in front of cheering Mon Monegas Monegasques? Though a part of the population had initially welcomed the annexation, it quickly became clear that without independence, gambling, or tourism, the former principality was little more than a backwards, if pretty, little town, and opinion towards the communards quickly soured. 
The treaty was signed later in the day with French representatives, deeping the mutual commitment of the two states towards each other already established by the 1918 Treaty of Protective Friendship and ensuring that the fate of France and Monaco would from now on forever be linked. Dio Juvante. So the state of Nice gets the following modifiers. More factories, more local factories, more max factories. That's fun. More stuff for the communards to blow up, though, I gotta say right now. Um... But yeah, I think once we do this, we'll be able to start taking decisions that'll help uh, things. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's ugly up here. It is real fucking ugly. Oh, I think this is open though, right here. Yeah, yeah. Once once we've taken the Scandinavian front. There's nothing for my allies to do. Well, I guess they could technically still fight down here in Venezuela. I'm not sure why it's taking so long for them to finish them off down here. Look at all these divisions. Why don't you just attack this? It's like a cav. One cavalry division, one infantry division. You just take all these and bam. I don't I don't get it. Oh, there we go. There's some progress. Oh, that's just an auto save. It's a new year, 1941. What's happening? Ah, okay. So, yeah, take Caracas. We're going to have access to that oil, which will be awesome. I don't know who I'm going to give it to. I guess I'll probably give it to the West Indies Confederation because they're right next door and then they can decide what to do with it. They'll probably puppet it. Um, yeah, they're almost done recovering from the Civil War. And the Socialist and Longest Resistance is fading, so they've been working on that at the same time. That's really good. Uh, yeah, good job, Quentin going to be quite a giant see so yeah, the kingdom of italy has been created here which is really good um they've begun the risorgimento and now is there anything that actually starts to set them at war with the rest or is that decisions i forget well it'll it'll all happen when we go to war with germany yeah it's entente versus reich spot ain't gonna be no cold war because we're just gonna kill them Hmm. Okay, the Entente Air Training Scheme. We've been invited by the Canadian government to join in a large-scale multinational air training program on Canadian soil. It would strengthen our alliance and improve the skill of our pilots, but it may be seen as a concession to Canadian dominance of the Entente. What, really? It's 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 an Entente, guys. It's not like they're our boss. It's prissy little. Oh, actually, they're authoritarian democratic these days. Weren't they market liberals or something before? Yeah, but, uh, oh, we can get political power if we refuse. Isn't that cute? But no, we'll take it. So then we get Ace Generation Chance plus 10%, Air Experience Gain plus 10%. Man, if we had really gone in on the air, we would be spawning aces like crazy. Um, okay, so this is the artillery, right? Yeah. Um. Hmm. All right, but that's it for today. Uh, so next time we're going to get finish up with this rebuild legitimacy, so we can start dealing with the issues in France. Uh, looks like things are kind of stabilizing, and uh, nothing's going above fifty percent, fifty-one percent ish here. We are managing to lower the resistance in a lot of these spaces. Um, the lack of equipment is really not helping, but it, that's the thing with these garrisons. It's like it becomes, it becomes a this cascading, you know, snowball effect where you don't have enough garrisons, so you're dealing with resistance. So then you don't have you don't have equipment, and so then the resistance sabotages things, and they cost you more equipment, and it just becomes this this snowball that's really really difficult to get out of, or to get, stop rolling down the hill, the mountain, so to speak. Did somebody say mountain? Ugh! Mountain guards and revolutionaries! Ray! Uh, <laughs> anyway, and yeah, Germany continues to steadily advance towards Russia. That is going to fucking suck having to deal with a, uh, a, a Russia that's been puppeted by Germany. That's going to have, have so much goddamn manpower. Uh, anyway, I'm Conquering History Games. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.